Hey, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm up in uh, my favorite place, the Boo Park. Having a little lunch. I'll show you around after a while after I eat my lunch. I gotta show you first what I'm having. Let me turn this around. Uh, having some wings and fries. Ranch dressing. I'll get back with you and I'll show you around after a while. Well, here's what's left of my lunch. You can see nothing but bones. They give me way too many fries. I couldn't eat them all. I'll show you around a little bit over here. This is where I come just to relax and get away from everything. It's um, It kind of reminds me of Central Park in a way. It's a park. I, I don't know how many acres it is, but it sits. Uh, it's surrounded by uh, communities, and you go in any direction, and you'll uh, you'll wind up in a little uh, small city, or you go a few miles, a couple miles, and you'll wind up in Cincinnati, across the river. That's it, way over there. I'll uh, show you a better picture later on when I get out on the knob. But right now, just uh, this is a golf course up here. I've played this many times. It's really nice. Uh, oh, it's so relaxing up here. I often come up here and um, and I'll stop at the Riverfront Pizza where I got my uh, wings, and I'll come up here and um, I'll have lunch and uh, just sit and relax. A lot of times I'll bring the dog up here. So anyway, um, I'll shut this off and I'll I'll show you I'll show you more throughout the park in a few minutes. These are some of the walkways up here that you can walk around and uh, pass. That's a bowl back when I was a kid, back in the 50s. I used to come up here and bands would be here in this whole hillside This entire hillside would be filled with people, blankets, and um, I would come up here and sell and walk around, and sell ice balls and cokes, and I think the ice balls were ten cents or something like that. Cokes were a dime, and uh, bands from the 50s that were uh, they play up here free. Didn't cost anything to get in. Everybody just came early brought blankets and just covered these, this hillside. It's a great outdoor amphitheater and uh, it's still used today but it's uh, more uh, orchestra music. Uh, Cincinnati Symphony I think is played up here and uh, a few other ones that's not my style of music but uh, I, I wish a guy like uh, Jackson Brown would play here. Man this would be awesome. Or some other bands for that matter. Anyway um, I'll be back. I'll take you a tour of another area. This is, what I, this is what I enjoy doing the most. Just getting in the car and just driving around up here through the park. Listening to my old music. I got my oldie CD on and uh, this, this is my relaxation. section uh, this is one of the holes in the golf course it's really nice really beautiful day out today
and of course if you're near a golf course you're bound to find golf balls and look what I found Sitting, laying right up here alongside the road so I'll pick that up and put that in my bag nice ball of nitro I don't know if I showed anybody, there's my, there's my new car I bought, quite proud of it, good looking car, Toyota Corolla S model, got aluminum wheels on it, spoiler on the back, <clears throat> it's only two weeks old, in fact two weeks old yesterday, I got, um, uh, nice little package on it uh, got a good deal on it uh, 382 miles on it so far I'm thinking about driving it on a road trip anybody's got any suggestions on where I could go uh, tell me and I'll if I'm heading in your direction I'll stop by and see you my options are open I can go north south east west doesn't matter if I go east I don't have far to go because if I go east I've only got about 700 miles and I'll hit the ocean maybe 800 I don't know but I prefer to go south or west preferably uh, I'm thinking about taking a road trip for about a month to out towards Phoenix I haven't decided yet I've got a doctor's appointment that I absolutely can't miss November the 1st and I've got something going on uh, my grandson's going to a homecoming dance and he wants me to pick up his girlfriend in uh, my car. So uh, I think that's October the 9th. So if I go, I probably won't be leaving until after November the 1st. So obviously if I head north, I'm going to hit bad weather, uh, possibly. So I'd rather go out west and take the southern route across uh, down through St. Louis, over through Tulsa, down to the city, out to Flagstaff, down to Phoenix. So uh, if anybody's got any suggestions, then, uh, you know, give them to me, make a comment, and uh, maybe uh, if I pull this off, uh, we'll be, I'll stop by and see you. So let me turn this around. No sense just showing you woods. I'll show you me while I'm walking. Uh, this camera's pretty nice. It's got a, one of those things you turn around. You can see. I just don't know how I'm holding it. But uh, yeah, this is really nice up here. You see a lot of deer up here. Uh, come up here early in the morning. You'll see all kinds of deer. They come out and there's uh, there's houses up here. Not many, but there are some. And uh, the deer are pretty used to people, uh, especially playing golf and everything. So, I mean, if you walk right up on them, you'll spook them. But uh, as a rule, if you see one out in the fairway, uh, he'll look at you and then he'll just lower his head and continue eating. But if you start to walk towards him, then naturally he's gonna, he's gonna haul. But, uh, Okay, let's go to another part of the park. Uh, I take you up here and uh, I'll show you the overlook. 